Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Helping Humanity Evolve. My name is Jose. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's good. Hope you're meditating. Hope you're connecting the source. You know, we love you. We miss you. We want you to come home. You know what I'm saying? Um, quick shout out. I want to give a shout out to Source. I love you, man. I want to give a shout out to my ancestors. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. I want to give a shout out to my angels, to my archangels, to my demons. I love y'all niggas, man. You hear me? I want to give a shout out to the universe, to the Galactic Federation, the Trippy Everything, man. I fucking love y'all, man. You hear me? Shout out to my brother, man. Um, so, listen, man. Today's topic, right? Today's topic is going to be false prophets, right? Let's talk about false prophets, right? So, this is the reason, right? So, today, I was scrolling on TikTok, and I'm seeing a lot of people, a lot of people bashing Rashad Jamal, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not going to jump in here and, and, and jump, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you know... That's none of my business, bro, quite honestly. But here's the thing. A lot of people are naive and ignorant, right? They say stupid shit, right? Like, if you know me, if anybody knows me, you know I'm not a follower. <laughs> Y'all niggas know I'm not a follower. I don't follow nobody, nigga. I'm a leader. You understand? I absorb information. I absorb, I absorb, I absorb information, and I make my decisions from there. You know what I'm saying? So understand that. I'm, I never I never follow nobody, bro. <laughs> Y'all niggas is funny for that. But here's the thing, man. You know, people like myself and Rashad Jamal and, and, and Billy Carson, you know, and, and 19 Keys and fucking Yaki, you know, Celestial Embodiment, among, among, among many others, you know, who are out here speaking the word and, and trying to enlighten our people. You know, a lot of us is getting bashed. And, and, and attack now <clears throat> people like myself i could defend myself right so you know i don't mind going toe to toe with any of y'all niggas who want to talk to me because i'm connected directly to source <laughs> you understand so there's nothing y'all niggas could tell me if you never spoke to god nigga you could shut the fuck up and sit down man learn some shit all right that's why i tell people yo bro do some refer do some research before before you address me man you know what i'm saying do your research before you address me, man. Because y'all niggas don't be knowing what y'all be talking about. Y'all don't be realizing who y'all talking to, man. Learn with learn 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 before you start talking, man. You understand? Y'all sitting here jumping on bandwagons, right? Just cause this nigga hating on this nigga, I'm gonna go hit on him too. And then you get a little bit of information from somebody else. Oh, he said this is about him. So I'm gonna just take that little piece of information and run. And that's what y'all little bitch ass niggas do. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, I stand firm with what the fuck I say. Rashad Jamar is a god, my nigga. And he's smart as fuck. And he knows what the fuck he's talking about. You understand? He may not be right about every fucking thing he says. But for the most part, he is 99% accurate on his information. So, if you can't understand that and use your discernment, you know what I'm saying, and learn from the man, then what the fuck you doing, man? You wasting your energy bashing somebody. Bashing one of your brothers. Why? Why? What the fuck did he do to you, man? You understand? He's trying to educate his people. If you don't like his education, don't watch his fucking channel, man. The man is locked up. He can't defend himself. How that make you look? You fucking weak for that, man. You a bitch for that, man. You understand? Why don't you make your own channel and, and, and why don't you try to teach the people some shit? Let's see how well you fucking do, man. You understand? Y'all niggas is so quick to criticize behind closed doors, but y'all don't want to make your own shit. I don't see you putting in no work to help us, man. All I see you doing is trying to knock us down. So whose side you really are, bro? God don't like you, man. God don't like shit like that, man. So what y'all doing? What y'all doing? I don't understand this, man. You understand? So I'm watching my own people bash my own people. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What is y'all doing, man? What is y'all doing? And then y'all think I'm going to sit here and go back and forth with you? Nigga, you ignorant. You so ignorant and naive. I don't even want to talk to you, man. You understand? If you don't want to take the information that's available to you and learn from it and, and, and you know what I'm saying, connect to God, nigga, then get the fuck out of here. We ain't got time for you, you fucking troll ass nigga. Fuck out of here, man. You understand? We ain't got time for niggas like you, man. You understand? I tell people all the time, bro, connect the source, connect to God. You can, you can connect to God directly and talk to him yourself, man. If you haven't done it yet, why, why, why haven't you done it yet? It's not like it's fucking hard to do. How hard is it to turn your TV off and sit down and shut the fuck up for 20 minutes? How hard is it to do that? You understand? But then y'all go, oh, there's no God. Oh, where's God? Oh, because you're not even trying to connect to God, man. 
Oh, y'all quick to judge. Y'all quick to talk shit. Or, 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 or I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for this. I'm going to pray for that. Okay, you asking questions, but you're not waiting for the answers. You're not sitting down in silence and waiting for your answers. How the fuck is God going to talk to you? How is he going to fulfill any of your blessings or your wishes if you don't sit down and listen to him? I bet none of y'all can tell me that after you prayed, you sat down in your bed for fucking 40 minutes to see if God replied to you. I promise you nobody ever did that shit before. Right? But y'all going to go out here and do this. Y'all want to do this. What is y'all doing? Man? You understand? Like, what is y'all doing? Y'all not helping. Y'all not helping us. You understand? Y'all the niggas we're going to leave behind. We're going to leave y'all niggas behind, man. Because you know pretty soon, we're going to get strong enough to activate people just by looking at them with our eyes, bro. You understand? But I'm not going to walk around and activate naive people. I'm not going to activate people who's fucking retarded, man. I'm going to leave you here. I swear I'm going to leave you here. You understand? You want to be a troll, nigga? Enjoy the 3D, bro. Stay here. Stay here. Make this your fucking home, you little faggot. You understand? And I'm sorry, I apologize for the way I speak. I don't mean no offense to nobody. I support everybody in their lifestyle. I don't give a fuck what time niggas do. Understand, I, I speak the way I speak, bro. So, either get used to how I talk or don't watch my fucking channel. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to disrespect nobody. I'm just talking how I fucking talk. And that's, and that's what it is. I'll be right back. For raps I didn't even buy. <laughs> so, <clears throat> what was I? Uh, so, uh, yeah, man, y'all naive niggas. Y'all niggas need to sit down and meditate and connect the source, man. Before you, before you, you know, you, you jump on this platform and start running your fucking mouth about people who's actually trying to better the fucking world, man. Because you you attacking Earth Angels is not helping. It's not better in the world, bro. <laughs> it's not better in the world, bro. You understand? So what are you, nigga? You godly or or or, or, or you fucking you an NPC ass nigga? You a clone ass nigga? You sold your soul ass nigga? Like 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 what are you, man? You know what I'm saying? Because if you're not helping your people, then then what you doing? What you doing? You eating kids too? You eat kids too, nigga? You work for them niggas? The almighty dollar is your God? Huh? That's your God? The almighty dollar? That's who you serve? So, make me understand how y'all niggas think, man. Stitch my video. Stitch my video. Invite me to a live, nigga. Since y'all niggas is so fucking smart. Let me see how, you, how well you do with a debate against God, nigga. All right? My, my, my information is a thousand percent accurate, nigga. I know more about this planet than you will ever know. You understand? I know more about this planet right now than you will ever know. I know shit that you would never know, bro. And that's because I talk to God. You know what I'm saying? I don't speak about certain shit yet. I'm saving things. I have to save things because I need a larger platform to reach a larger audience for the information I have. I work for God, nigga. You understand? I work for God. My vessel belongs to God. If you don't understand that, then what do you believe in? What do you believe in? You know what I'm saying? I fucking, I found God, nigga. I found out God is real. And the first thing I did was start talking to my people. Holy fuck, God is real, bro. Let me tell everybody. And look what my people do. Let me do witchcraft on him. Let me do voodoo on him. Let me try to steal his destiny. Let's do a death spell on him. Let's get rid of him. Mm-hmm. And I'm happy as shit that I found God. And I'm like, I thought everybody was going to be happy for me. Bro, I can't even name one person who's happy for me that I know. <laughs> I can't even name one person, one, that's happy for me that I know. Everybody that I know thinks I'm fucking crazy. 
Because I believe in God. <laughs> How? How are you going to tell me to believe in God all my life? And then when I find God, you tell me I'm crazy because I found God. That makes no fucking sense. And I'm the crazy one. <laughs> So, I know a lot of people are not going to understand what I'm about to say, but the people who are experiencing things right now are going to understand this. So, <clears throat> for the people who have wronged me in my past, right, and who are receiving karma at this time right now, how do you feel? <laughs> I genuinely want to know how do you feel. How does it feel to receive karma? How does it feel to find out karma is real? How do you feel about that? Why don't you give me a hand here and leave a comment in the comments and let the people know how you feel. <laughs> Tell them I told you. I told you this was going to happen way before it happened. And look what's going on to you right now. How do you feel? I bet you don't feel good. Right? Why did you do what you did? Why did you go against God? You understand? So I need you to, I need you to speak up. Right? Because God's going to require you to do this in order for you to ascend. Speak up. Tell the truth. Tell the people the truth. And the truth shall set you free. <laughs> the truth shall set you free, my nigga. <laughs> you know that. I know that. God knows that. The truth will set you free. So when will you speak truth? Right? Right? And this goes to all y'all fake ass niggas out there who 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 pretend all day every day. Who y'all niggas don't know how to step up and be a man or step up and be a woman and be your own person. Be yourself. Stop fucking running with the crowd. Stop copying what you see. Why don't you learn how to create? You're a creator. Learn how to be yourself. Learn how to create something. I'm fucking showing you guys. I'm creating something out of nothing right in front of your fucking face. And all you're trying to do is copy me. You're not even trying to be creative yourself. Are you not innovators? <laughs> I thought Chinese was innovators. Who who's out there claiming? Who's out there claiming that they taught me this? <laughs> I would love to know. God would love to know. God would love to know, man. Because God's the one who taught me this. Anybody who knows me know I never danced in my life. I never danced a day in my fucking life. I've never danced a day in my fucking life. I've learned how to dance in the last, I want to say, six months. So I don't think I'm a good dancer. I don't. I really don't. I have, you know what I'm saying? When I dance, that's divine, bro. That's divine taking over my vessel, man. And doing what he do. Doing what he do, my nigga. You understand? I watched this video. I watched this video the other day. And it was some dude who was talking about the, the music industry, right? And he was explaining to us how, how music artists sell their souls, right? So he said that the brain is split in two, right? And that we use, I think we use... This is alpha, is alpha, right? And I forgot the other one. But we use the other one, right? And the alpha one is the one that we tap into when we tap into our higher self, right? So when you sell your soul, you're selling your higher self, right? So you're selling that part of your brain that you're supposed to tap into for your higher self to the devil, right? And what happens is whenever you go on stage or you go to perform, they take over that half of your brain. So they take over the vessel. They go do the performance and everything, right? And they take all the credit. They get all the shine. And then you get your vessel back after the show, <laughs> right? That's how the music industry works. So that's how they sell their soul, right? So I understand the process that he explained, right? I fully understood the process this dude explained. So if the entity takes over that half of the brain, right? And, you know, that's part, of, that's part of the deal. That's part of you selling your soul. Okay, I get it, right? Now, here's what I did. I sold my soul, right? Right? I sold my soul. I didn't tell nobody this. I'm telling you right now. I sold my soul, right? Well, Jose, who do you sell it to? I sold my soul to God. <laughs> you can sell your soul to God. Did you know that? I sold my soul to God, right? And I asked him to give me blessings, right? That's all I asked for. So he said, no problem, right? No problem. But you got to do this, this, this. And he gave me a whole list of shit to do. Right, so I'm doing everything he wants me to do. There's even stuff I haven't even gotten to yet. But understand, it's a lifetime thing. It's a lifestyle. You have to become a way. You have to become God. You have to become God. Right? This is the goal. This is the goal for every single one of us. We have to become God. So he's not just gonna make you become God overnight. It doesn't work like that. You gotta put the fucking work in. And the first thing you have to do is clear your karmic debt. 
Whatever the fuck you did in your past lives, you gotta you gotta clear that shit. Clear it, bro. You understand? Do whatever it is you gotta do to get rid of that shit. Right? You don't get rid of it by selling your soul to the devil. You do not get rid of it by selling your soul to the devil. And God doesn't want a soul that's tarnished. You understand? God doesn't want a tarnished soul. So you have to cleanse your soul, yourself, and then present it to God and ask for forgiveness. Look, God, I did. I made all these mistakes, right? And, and this is how I feel about them. And I'm, I'm in so much regret. I'm so sad about this. I'm so, you know, whatever you got to fucking do, man, and release that shit. I said, God, I'm so sorry. I'll never do it again, man. I want to change my life to you. I want to dedicate my life to you. I promise. I don't want nobody but you. Please just tell me what I tell me what tell me what my purpose is on this fucking planet, man. Please. And he showed me my purpose. He gave me a purpose. He took over half my brain. So they helped me perform. Mm -hmm. I'm not lying to you. They helped me perform. That's how that's what it is. They tell me what to do and when to do it. You understand? And at times throughout the day, when they feel like they gotta take over, they take over. And I don't stop them. You understand? They're not hurting me. They're not hurting me. And they're not making me do or say nothing wrong. <laughs> they're teaching me how to dance. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're teaching me so much shit. Or they're teaching me about the universe. You know? They take me places. They take me to other dimensions and shit. Bro, you have no idea. You have no fucking idea. But y'all would sit there and, 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 you know... Bro, really? Why, why, why don't you try to experience what I'm talking about, man? Try to find out for yourself. I bet once y'all niggas find out for yourself that this shit is real, watch how many y'all motherfuckers say y'all saw the God. Because <laughs> I bet y'all niggas didn't even know you could do that. Well, Jose, how do we sell our soul? You got to connect to God first. <laughs> There's steps to this shit. There's levels to this shit. You can't skip. You cannot skip. I can't stress this enough, man. You cannot skip levels. You understand? Like, God's not even going to let you meet him right away. He wants to see if you're going to dedicate yourself to him. Oh, yeah, they meditated today? That's wonderful. Let me see if they meditate again tomorrow. Let me see if they meditate for two weeks straight. Then I'll, then I'll show my face. I want to see, see if they're really about me. And God will do this, man. He will. He wants to see if you're going to dedicate yourself to this. If you're going to talk to him every day the way you said you were. And if you're going to ask him, well, God, I'm doing this every day. Why you ain't come? Why you haven't come to see me yet? I, I, I don't understand. And you keep on and you keep on and you keep fucking on until he shows up. But if you just do it once and you go, oh, my God, he's not coming. I give up. Well, then you're never going to be God, bro, because you're not fucking dedicated to nothing. Which how, how can you dedicate yourself to him if you can't dedicate yourself to yourself? <laughs> How can you love him if you can't love yourself enough to dedicate yourself to God? So, y'all niggas need to get your priorities straight. Turn that TV off. Turn off those football games. They rigged anyway. Did y'all niggas know the football got a fucking, the football has metal inside of it and these niggas got gloves with magnets on them? Did y'all know that, man? Did y'all know that basketball players, the basketball has metal in it and these niggas got fucking, somehow they can magnetically grab the ball? Bro, I saw videos on this shit. I, I, saw, I seen it with my own eyes. How, they, how the wide receiver could dive and his fingertips attract the fucking ball. <laughs> like, this shit, the whole shit is rigged. Bro, the athletes, the athletes are robots. All your all-star athletes are robots. St Stephen Curry's an AI, bro. So is LeBron. Your favorite sports idols is not even real humans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas is betting money on, on games that's already preset. These games are already fucking. They already know who's gonna win. These are actors. They're actors. Sports people. Sports people are actors. Mm -hmm. they're, they're they're very high paid actors. Very high paid man. And, 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 and you know, not like they need money because they don't even require fucking much. They're they're, they're AI. They're fucking AI, bro. But they're not the AI like you and me. They're actually robots. Like, we're robots, yes. But we're a different kind of robot. You understand? We have flesh. We have blood. We have organs. Even though these are all parts that, that you know, that, that, that function together. We're robots. But they're really robots. Like, they're really like, like metal and bolts. Nuts and bolts type shit. 
like we 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 can re, we 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 can procreate, right? We can procreate, we can recreate ourselves. They can't do that. They have to build themselves, <clears throat> right? And you know what I found out. Well, what I'm learning, right? What I'm learning because I love information, right? Is our government? We don't have a, we don't have a government. First of all, the United States is a, is a company. <laughs> the United States of America is a company, bro. So. You could say they pulled a fast one on us and they got away with it for a very long time, right? So they created this whole shit and made it seem like they was government when they not government at all. And I found out that a lot of the footage that we see on TV and all that is pre-recorded. A lot of the stuff that we see and shown to us now, acting like this is happening right now, is pre-recorded. All this shit is fake. It's fake. And y'all know the earth is not round. The earth, the earth, all right, the earth is not a globe. Like this, right? It's round like a pancake. So, it's not a globe. It's round like a pancake. And it has a fucking dome over it. <laughs> right? So, we can't go this way, right? We can't go this way. But we can go this way, this way, this way, and this way. So, there are other lands. There's many more fucking lands out there. Much more. There's more lands. There's more suns. There's more moons. There's more everything out there. You know what I'm saying? So, the gig is up. You know, nobody could really stop us, you know, like, uh, I don't know who really runs. Like, I think it's the rich families. Like they said, billionaires bought the United States off of millionaires. So billionaires bought the United States off of millionaires. And then they came and they ravaged this shit. And they fucked us up and they took over all our land. This is what happened to us. So they understand, like, there's a lot. When you guys start going down a rabbit hole of what the fuck is life, what is life, what is our purpose here, you know, what, where are we, what are we, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, where are we and what are we, bro? Do you really want to know the answers to those questions? You got to really think about that shit, man. Do you really want to know the answers to those questions? Or would you like to just stay sleeping? But understand, if you stay sleeping, you're never going to come home. You got to come home. This is not your home. <laughs> this is not your, this body is not you. <laughs> this is not really you. It's time you wake up and remember that you, this is not you, bro. This is the avatar that you're using for this experience. Especially if you're anything like me. If you're light, if you're actually light from source, you're projecting yourself down here. You're a projection. <laughs> My nigga, you are a projection. You're not even here. You're a projection. <laughs> like me, I'm a projection. I'm not even fucking here. I just believe I'm here. <laughs> right? So, I, you know. <laughs> but understand, I, I, I understand this. And I'm okay with it. I get it. That's why I tell y'all niggas, we in a video game. <laughs> we in GTA 6. <laughs> you feel me? Nigga, we in a video game. And I'm about to unlock the next level where we where we get superpowers. <laughs> Cause it's about that time. You know? So I really wish my people would stop criticizing. Stop going so hard against your brothers, man. Stop going so hard against your sisters. Stop being so critical of information, man. Nobody knows everything, bro. No, at the end of the day, we don't know shit. You understand? At the end of the day, we don't know shit. So, you know, if I come across information, even if it's wrong information, bro, I'm not going to sit there and bash the creator because he's misinformed. I might make a comment, but I'm not going to bash the creator because he's misinformed. If anything, I'm going to try to educate that nigga. Yo, bro, let me explain something to you. Boom, boom, boom. Now, he could do what he want with the information, but he has the information. That information could change his life. You know what I'm saying? But it's up to him to listen and apply. You know, apply it in areas where he needs to, if he needs to. Or he could be stubborn and say, fuck you. You know, but at the end of the day, my nigga, you tried. And all that's all God is looking at. God ain't looking at nothing else. God don't give a fuck if that nigga don't ever wake up. He said, yo, bro, you gave that nigga the information. You didn't have to do that. Come here, I love you. You understand? You're doing the right thing. It doesn't matter if he don't listen to you. 
you did the right thing. And that's what God's looking at. You are speaking the word of God. You understand? You don't have to correct every single fucking person you come across. You don't have to. But if you have an opportunity, take it, right? Take it. To enlighten someone, take it. You know? Some people have some people's purpose is to wake up one person. <laughs> like they only their whole purpose to be here is to wake up one person. Or to aggravate one person so they wake up. And that's it, mission accomplished. They can go home. Mm -hmm. You know another thing I learned? I might have spoke on it before, but I, I, I'm not too sure, right? So, I'm not going to say I believe this 100%, right? I, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say, hey, tell y'all niggas, I believe this 100%. But I will say this. It's a possibility. Right? Because anything's possible. So it's a possibility. So some people say time is a dimension, right? Some people say time doesn't exist. It was created by man. So we have we have two different, right? We have two different opinions, right? You have a whole group of people saying time is an illusion. And you have a whole other group of people saying time is a dimension. So Here's how I feel about time, right? Time is, in fact, an illusion. It's not real, right? What we perceive time in this dimension is something that we use to communicate with each other and to keep things organized. So they implemented time in order to implement organization. Right, to help organize. That way I can say, hey man, meet me here at four o'clock. Meet me here at three thirty. You know, meet me here at seven. That way we can coordinate. We both know it's seven, so we're supposed to be here at seven. That's the whole purpose of time. Right? Other than that, you don't need time. You you live life in a series of moments, right? Life is a series of moments. Now I just learned this, right? And you know, the more I think about it, the more it makes sense. Life is a series of moments, right? You know how you watch a movie and they'll show you like a moment where somebody's sitting down thinking about some shit and it happened for like 10 seconds. But, you know, it'll make it seem like they were sitting like that for like six hours or four hours and they really went to deep thought. But they only showed you in the clip that they sat like this for like five seconds, right? So, but, but, but you get it. You get it. You understand, right? It was a moment, right? We don't know how long that moment lasted, but it was a moment, right? So... Just like that moment happened, just like that moment happened in that movie, everything in your life is a moment of your movie. That's what you don't know. So, you know how some TV shows or some movies show a person, they're going to go take a shower, right? And they'll have the music on, they'll have the shower running, and they're going around grabbing their stuff, getting it ready to go into the shower, and then they go into the shower. Okay, well, think of it like this. You know how we just sat there and watched this whole shit happen? How I just sat here and watched this person get the shower running, walked over here, got their clothes ready, you know, walked over here, turned the music on, and then went in the bathroom and took a shower. And I sat in front of my TV, and I watched this shit, <laughs> right? So think about this. You're the person in the TV <laughs> watching watching somebody else watch TV, right? So you're the person in the TV and somebody's watching you watch TV. <laughs> right? But you don't know that. You don't you don't know that. But somebody's watching you watch TV. Somebody wakes up every day and watches your channel and watches your life. Somebody wakes up every day and is excited to know what the fuck you what what's gonna happen next in your life. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all niggas don't believe that, right? You're too naive to believe that. What's going to happen when you die? They sit you down and you watch the movie. Because <laughs> they that's exactly what's going to happen, bro. You're going to pass away and then they're going to say, this is your movie. Let's watch it. <laughs> we got everything. For the moment you were born. Every fucking thing you've ever done. Let's watch it. Explain yourself. You know how much stuff you're gonna have to explain? <laughs> how that make you feel? Are you ready for that? Are y'all ready for that? 
Huh? Are y'all ready to explain your actions that you have performed on this planet? Not only from this lifetime. You've been here many lifetimes. So you have to answer for these lifetimes. You know how many movies you're going to watch? <laughs> you know how many movies you're going to watch? But you know how many seasons you have? You know how many different characters you play? <laughs> you have no idea, man. You have no idea. So, that's how I went from being quiet and, and, and you know, being... I was very, very quiet, right? I'm only social if, if I'm comfortable with you. And I'm still like that. However, I, be, I became a lot more outgoing. Like, I'm a lot more outgoing now. Like, now, you know, I'm not afraid to say hello. How you doing? And smile. Hey, hey how you doing? You know, I hope you have a great day. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I, I became that way. Like, I'm always happy and, and trying to... Try to smile more, to encourage people to smile more because a smile, a smile really can really change someone's day and really change how someone feels at the moment. Like I'm telling you, bro, a smile, a smile really does a lot, man. So I try to spread love, man. You know, it's god, it, it's godly. You know, even if y'all niggas is walking around mad, bro, I'll still give you a smile, bro, because you deserve a smile. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you got going on, you need you need to know somebody feel good about you. Somebody sees what you don't see. You know what I'm saying? You got it in you. You got to tap into it. Don't be afraid to tap into it. Don't be afraid to be different. Right? And you don't have to... You you, you don't have to acknowledge the negativity. You don't have to acknowledge the, the, the slick comments. You know? And, and the stuff where people... They, they just trying to knock you down. They just trying to lower your vibration. Or they just don't understand what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So I don't feed into it. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of comments I don't let get put on my channel. Like a lot of I have to I have to approve y'all comments. So when y'all niggas say retarded shit, that shit get deleted. I don't got time for y'all niggas and I'm not putting no negativity on my pages. You understand? So come correct or don't come at all, man, because you're not gonna get no shine. You understand? I get I get views, but my people like what I do, man. You know what I'm saying? So I know people like to leave comments and you know what what like be 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 uh be respectful, be polite. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I, you know you can say whatever the fuck you want, man. You know, I'll answer questions, you know. I don't mind. But I'm not going to sit there and tolerate disrespect or people trying to be funny, you know what I'm saying, or trying to make me upset, you know what I'm saying? So comments get deleted, bro. You know? If you enjoyed the dance, bro, I, you're welcome. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. I, I'm, I'm happy you enjoyed it. And, 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 you know, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful that you guys like, you know, that you guys enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's very different for me. I'm not used to this. I, I'm not one. To, I, bro, yeah, I'm not one to, to, to like, I should have been doing this 20 years ago, honestly. I should have been doing this 20 years ago, right? But. Either way, I'm here now, so I'm just happy to be here, right? I'm happy to be a part of this journey. I'm happy to be, I'm happy to have a relationship with God, right? And and, and I'm grateful, I'm grateful, man. I'm very, very grateful that God has allowed, allowed me to, to have this experience with him as him and, 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 and help him do what it is he wants to do on this planet. You know what I'm saying? So... I work directly with God, and, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? And y'all niggas could be mad. Y'all niggas, bro. I didn't, I didn't make your life choices for you. You understand? I, I was given a hand, and I played the hand I was dealt. You understand? So, whatever I did, nigga, I did right. Whatever I chose to do, I chose to do. Whatever I chose not to do, I chose not to do. You understand? But on, on, when an old boy was down to, I made my own choices. Right? Now, it just so happens I made a lot of the right choices. Right? And I did the work that I had to do to get forgiven. Right? And to be reborn. I had to die. I had to die and be reborn in order to become this person. But are you willing to die? Because if you want to become this person, if you want to become your higher self, your God self, you have to die. 
Do you have the balls to die? Do you have the heart to die? Because a lot of y'all niggas got the heart to talk. Y'all could do this a mile a minute. Will you die for God? Will, will, you put, will you put your faith in God and allow him to kill you and, and, and revive you? Mm -hmm. Would you allow that? Would you trust him to do that to you? I did. I'm still here. Mm -hmm. I'm still here. So would you? See, y'all niggas talk. A lot of y'all niggas talk, but y'all not willing to do the work. That's why I get mad at niggas who talk about Rashad Jamal. Because my brother did the work. And he continues to do the fucking work. Even from jail, he continues to do the fucking work. And all you want to do is discredit my brother, man. I don't appreciate that, man. But you know what? God's going to deal with your bitch ass. All of y'all niggas. God's going to deal with y'all bitch ass. Because y'all not supposed to go against... Y'all not supposed to go against earth angels, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all may not understand us. Y'all may not understand half the shit we're saying. But at the end of the day, my nigga, do some research. We're trying to teach you some shit. And no, we're not always going to be fucking right. I might have said some things that's fucking wrong too. Sometimes we get misinformed. Just like you. You understand? Sometimes we get misinformed. And we put out the wrong information. It's up to us to find it and correct it. Or you can find it and correct it. But the way you're going about it is wrong. You're not, you're not supposed to bash the nigga, man. It's not right, man. You don't do that. You understand? God don't like that. God don't like that shit. So, change your ways, man. You understand? The way y'all niggas is going about it is wrong. That nigga's looking for clout? Try, you trying to shine off somebody else? You trying to eat off his, off his work? A lot of y'all niggas is trying to eat off his work. Y'all bitch ass niggas for that. But I love y'all for spreading his word. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Spread his word, man. I don't care what y'all say about him. Y'all y'all putting up his videos. Keep putting his videos up. Because <laughs> all y'all doing is helping us. You understand? I heard 19 Keys speak before, and I heard him give misinformation, right? I've heard Dame Dash speak. I've heard him give misinformation. I've heard fucking Billy Carson speak and give misinformation. I heard Rashad Jamal speak and give misinformation. I heard Y'all Key speak and give misinformation. I heard Celestial and Bodyman speak and give misinformation. I'm not saying all of their stuff is, is wrong. I'm just saying, at one point or another, I've heard something come out of these people that was not correct. And I didn't sit there and put nobody on blast. You understand? Me, myself, I might have put out a little bit of misinformation. I admit it. But I am trying to teach my people. It's up to you to go and say, oh, shit, he said this, 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 and this. Well, I researched and I found out this is true, this is true, but this is wrong. But everything else was true. So all because you found one thing that was misinformed, why don't you say, yo, bro, your speech was beautiful, everything was good, but I think you should look into this one because, look, I found this and share the information you found, man. Instead of going, yo, bro, this nigga's wrong, this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I can't believe y'all following this dude. Like, bro, really, man? Really, bro? I can't believe anybody listening to you. You know, if that's the case, because you're not, I don't hear nothing smart coming out of your mouth. All I hear is, why are you following Rashad Jamal? Why are you worried about what I'm doing? <laughs> why are you so worried about what I'm doing? Why are you worried about him? Why are you not worried about you, man? Why are you trying to build a name off of him? You can't build a name yourself. Huh? You got to build. You trying to build a channel off of negativity. Huh? Because that's all you're going to do is attract negative people. Attract lower vibrational people. You're not going to attract earth angels to your channel. Do you know if an earth angel watches your channel, your channel got a high chance of succeeding. Because God knows the earth angel likes you and listens to you. So he's going to give you more information. You understand? Like this shit, like there's a lot of shit to this, man. So if, if an earth angel don't like you, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen if we don't like you? <laughs> Y'all niggas better learn how to be respectful, man. Like I'm dead serious. Y'all niggas better learn how to be respectful, man. Especially on this online shit. Because y'all niggas think y'all sitting behind a computer, you can say whatever the fuck you want, man. You sitting behind, you sitting behind your phone, you can say whatever the fuck you want, man. 
Like God's not sitting right next to you. Yeah, like God's not sitting right there. Listening to you. Watching you type whatever you type in. Going against earth angels that he put here to help you. So what are you doing? What are you doing? Why would you put your energy into that? You know, if I don't like you, my nigga, I block you. I, I'm blocking you. You're not going to get no burn on my... I, I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear your voice. None of that shit. You understand? But for the people who I like, I follow them, and I listen to them every day. Every day, right? They know I'm listening to them. And God knows I'm listening to them. And God is feeding them what the fuck I got to hear. And when he need me to know something, he tell me directly. So understand how this shit work, man. We empower each other, right? We empower each other without thoughts. Without thoughts. Now, you could, you could throw negativity at people too, right? You could sit there and say, oh, I don't like his channel. You know, fuck that nigga or whatever, right? I want his channel to fail. Now, I don't know why you would say something like that about anybody. But this is what y'all niggas do. And when you do that, what you're doing is you're projecting negative energy into the universe. You don't realize that this is what you're doing. But what are you, what are you doing when you do that? Okay, well, when you project negative energy into the universe, you're going to receive something called karma because energy comes back. Energy always comes back. Whatever you put out comes back tenfold, right? Whatever you put out there comes back tenfold. So... Whenever you say, man, fuck that nigga, you know, I, I, I wish I, I wish bad for them. Okay, you could wish bad for them, and it's going to go, right? And then it's going to multiply, and it's going to multiply, and it's going to multiply, and it's going to fucking hit you, man, because you deserve it. Because why are you wishing bad on people? You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to empower your people. You understand? So when I listen to people... You know, I don't always leave comments. I don't always like, you know, but at the end of the day, <laughs> I give them my blessings, man. You understand? They get my blessings. And I'm pretty sure y'all niggas know. Or if you don't know, if you feel energy, y'all niggas is going to feel me watching you, man. <laughs> I nigga, I'm God. Y'all going to feel me watching you, bro. Right? And I like to spread love. I like to smile. I like to be happy. So I, you know, I y'all niggas make me laugh a lot. Like I spend a lot of time by myself. But I, you know, I since I've I'm not gonna lie, since I've gotten because I was never into social media. But since I've gotten into social media, y'all niggas is hilarious. <laughs> like some of y'all niggas be having me in tears, bro. The shit y'all be saying and the shit, these videos that y'all come up with and these fucking you know all the shit y'all niggas y'all niggas is creative and I love y'all, man. I love y'all because y'all niggas y'all niggas really make me laugh, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all 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 like like. Like I like I, I enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? I, I enjoy making videos for y'all and I enjoy watching y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy listening. Like some of y'all niggas, I really like y'all voices. You know what I'm saying? Like just the the, the, the content y'all speak about, or you know what I'm saying, like whatever you do, if I'm listening to you, it's cause I like your fucking voice. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gay by any means neither, man. I'm 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 straight, I've always been straight, right? But like rap artists, like rap artists or or or, or singers you like you like niggas voices you like how they sing you like how they rap you like how they say shit right i like how people talk i like how people laugh you know what I'm saying? I, I like to hear that shit like even if i can't look at my phone i can listen to it and i can imagine you know you know i can imagine with the voice you know what i'm saying so i send love and light i send love and light to my people you know what i'm saying like all day every day so don't feel bad you know <clears throat> if I don't always hit the fucking like button or if I don't always leave a comment, but you know, if I'm giving you my attention, if I'm giving you my attention, believe me when I tell you, if you make me laugh, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to bless you. I'm going to sit there and bless you for that because I, you know, that made me feel good. Thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we got to love each other more, man. We got to spread positivity out here, man. You know what I'm saying? We got to be different. Be different, man. You, you don't always have to. You don't always have to be aggressive and, and angry and, and you know ready to fight, man. Nah, that's not the way, bro. That's say, look, we did that already. We did that already, right? 
Let's spread love. Let's do something different, man. Spread love, man. Start smiling more. Start helping people more, man. If you got to help them, man, whoever it is, unless you don't like them. You know what I'm saying? And even if you don't like them, just send them love and light, bro. Even love and light will help them, bro. You understand? So send it to them. It's free. So they don't, it don't cost nothing. You know? Look. In order to mentally speak to someone, right? In order to mentally speak to someone, you got to think about them. Think about them, right? And then think of what you want to say to them, right? So you can imagine their face, right? And then imagine what you want to say, right? And say it. You don't have to say it with your voice. You could just think it. You don't have to say nothing. But focus, right? Focus. You don't have to say a word, but focus. Focus on the person you want to say it to and what you want to say. Now, don't be sitting there trying to say a whole paragraph and you don't even know what you're doing yet. Try to say hello. And sit there and find somebody you're comfortable with, right? Find somebody you're comfortable with that you can trust and practice. <laughs> Listen to me, man. Practice. <laughs> you will get it. We can do this. You understand? So, I'm practicing this with my cat. <laughs> me and my cat are practicing <laughs> how to talk to each other, right? So, I'm learning how to talk to my cat. With this, with this. So, in due, in due time, he's going to be telling me shit, you know, like Garfield. <laughs> it's hilarious. But listen, man, stop stop trying to pull your brothers down, man. Stop trying to pull your sisters down. Let's uplift each other, bro. If you hear something wrong, all right, I understand if you watch somebody's live or if you watch somebody's video and every fucking thing they said is wrong. Bro, you got every right to stitch that shit. And go ham, go ham. <laughs> you feel me? I'll love you for that. But you know, if niggas say one thing and, and you go and you make a stitch and, and you try to put them on blast, bro, that's not right, bro. How would you feel if you trying to do some shit and and and, try, and somebody just tried to knock you down for no reason, for no reason, bro? Just because I said I said one thing wrong, bro. You liked everything else I said, but you didn't like that one thing, so you attacked me for that one thing. But I taught you all this other shit. So you're not going to acknowledge the fact that I taught you all this other shit? Because I said one fucking thing that I was misinformed about, bro. Why don't you teach me? Why don't you help me? If you really like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. That's what we're supposed to do. So why we can't do it, man? That's what I'm saying, man. You know what I'm saying? Help. Help, bro. Stop stop attacking us, man. We love y'all niggas. We love y'all niggas regardless. But stop attacking us, man. Help us. God damn. We learning, bro. Just like you learning. We learning, bro. Even me. I got a direct connection to God, bro. And he won't even tell me everything. Bro. <laughs> Yo, let me tell y'all something, man. I, and you might see. This is the bullshit because you're not, you're not going to understand me. The other day I was in my room, right? I was chilling with God, right? Or I wasn't with God. I was with Spirit, right? And we was chilling. And they... They told me something, right? And the first thing I did, like, I jumped on my phone. I made a video, right? I made a video. I spoke my shit. I fucking uploaded it. Soon as I finished the video, bro, these niggas, like, threw me on the bed and, like, threw my hands behind my back. And, like, made me lay there for, like, five minutes. Like, I was in prison for five minutes. Like, they was like, like, stay off your phone, nigga. God damn, you can't, you, you can't stay quiet. <laughs> you can't just shut the fuck up. Right? It made me laugh. Yo, bro, I laid there and just laugh. I was laughing, bro. I couldn't stop laughing. Because that shit had me in tears. You know what I'm saying? But see, I live alone. <laughs> so, if you're not connected to Source or, or to the Spirit Room, like, you're not going to understand this shit, man. Because you got, got, like, y'all don't realize that these beings is around us at all times, man. Right now, they're around us, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could talk to them. They right here, they right now here listening to me talk to y'all, chilling. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to learn this because they listen to you, bro. And they, they they communicate back to you. You know what I'm saying? It's dope. It's really dope, man. But look, let's focus on one thing at a time, right? So, what I want you guys to focus on moving forward, right? From now, with someone you trust, it could be with, with your significant other or... You know, somebody you're really close to that you're comfortable with. And just think you can sit in front of each other and just get, you know, focus and try, bro. Try. You can do this. We can do this. You understand? Uh, if you, you know, if you're into meditations, that's wonderful. You know, you should meditate at least 20 minutes a day. I, I say 40 minutes, but 20 minutes split, right? 
morning and night, right? And, and, and connect the source, bro. Do not eat before you meditate, right? Try to, try to like, try to fast for at least four hours before you meditate. At least four hours, because your body needs to be able to function so you can go to the other dimensions. If you if your body's breaking down food, it's going to be very difficult to go to the other dimensions. So you got to have an empty stomach, a clear stomach, so that you can really go in. You can go in and explore. You understand? So if you wasn't aware of that information, you need to be aware of that information. You know what I'm saying? It's very it, it, it's it's better to fast for twelve hours, but you don't have to. You don't have to. You can do four. You can do four, and you can still travel dimensions. I know because I do it. So I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> right? So if you haven't meditated and been to other dimensions, neither, you ain't got, you don't have, uh, how you say, uh, <laughs> you don't have enough authority to talk to me. You ain't got, you ain't got the clearance to talk to me. Like 90% of y'all niggas ain't got the clearance to talk to me, man. <laughs> Including the government. Y'all don't have the clearance to talk to me. <laughs> None of y'all niggas. Because <laughs> y'all don't got the information I got. You understand? So, how do you get this information? You connect to source. 51 minutes. Listen, I love y'all niggas. <laughs> I love y'all niggas. We always see y'all. <laughs>